the multi pole using the hillbilly way instead of a fancy cruise ship bartender way. We're doing 120 red solo cups. We got a drone and a whole whack load of people. Here we go. <laughs> Howdy, I'm Frank, and welcome to Redneck Redo's. Today, I saw this fancy video on the internet of this cruise ship server being all fancy bartender pouring 60 different drinks out of 60 different shaker tins. So I thought, why not do it with red solo cups and some duct tape? Come along for the ride. This one's gonna be a doozy. I'm gonna need to clean my workstation because I think it's gonna get a little messy. <laughs> Ooh, who needs an umbrella on a beautiful sunny day like this one? In the video, it seemed like it had three stacks of 20 shaker tins attached by some kind of rod. What are you going to do with duct tape and solo cups? So I'm going to do three rows of 20. I'm going to use a lot of cups. Right, well, that's 10. See, that's 10, 10, 10. So that's me 20. So that's 20. You see what I'm doing here? I'm using the, the height of the cup. Instead of counting them all individually. That should be 20. Well, no, that's 21. That's 20. We can double check on that. <laughs> 2, 4, 6, 8. Didn't think a redneck could count in 10, did you? 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. <laughs> wow. There you go. Redneck math always works out. I'm going to pour into these. i got to attach these. All right. I gotta do all this fingernail fishing because someone didn't put the duct tape away properly. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Measure twice, pull once. <laughs> I thought I could just stick it down with some tape, but. Ah, school, we're gonna stick it down with some tape. And right back there, that should work. Love the sound of duct tape in the morning. Twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Ah, ooh, that's why it's shorter. <laughs> I missed a cup. That's all right. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Oh. There's the extra cup. <laughs> Make it twice, not once. Sure. It seems one of our cup stacks is slightly less endowed than the others. That's all right, buddy. It's not the size of the ocean, it's the motion of the potion. <laughs> it seems in the video he used some kind of special rods to hold on to the end of a stack of sugar tears. Luckily, I've got a secret redneck rod replacement. Bobby can't skew it. We're gonna use these to attach the three rows of cups. It seems I may have measured twice when I should have measured three times. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, gonna make new. We're losing sunlight fast. Yes. Ooh, too much. <laughs> Sometimes I get a little excited. like rolling a fresh cigarette in the bubble. I think it'll still work. Bye-bye! 
girls are all pretty, they're nice. They're leaving. Long weekend's over. People are leaving. All right, it's the moment of truth. <laughs> oh, please, Lord. I think it'll work, Golly and Jane. Well, lucky it's not waving today. Golly and Jane, we filmed this video here yesterday. Man, the wind would have taken one of these cups like a trail to a butterworm. <laughs> I probably could have put these cups the right side up in the first place, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. The problem with this short row is it's not gonna, it's not gonna reach these cups here. But that's why I made some backups. All right, well, whoever gets these cups isn't a friend, because these cups are gonna be empty. My duct tape's still holding strong. Ooh, ooh, all right. Gotta go fast. This is that cheap western duct tape lusher I was gonna do with the water. So far, so good. And I think ultimately the best part of this video is showmanship. You gotta stand on the bar. Oh, in this case, picnic table. Ha <laughs> I call that Northwest Express. Look at that. Most of the cups got some moves in them. And by moves, I mean fresh Ontario tap water. Look at that, you can hand around some drinks to your friends. You can share a drink with a different friend. You can have a drink yourself. <laughs> I forgot it was tap water. I don't drink tap water, I drink mud. Well, thanks for watching Redneck Readings. My name's Frank. All you need is some barbecue skewers, some duck tanks, some red solo cups, and some Ontario skaters. See you in the next one. No, that's not 10. Oh, that's not 10. Oh, that's not 10. That's still not 10. Jesus, how many is in 10?